Hey, welcome to Story Lab. This week, we're taking a look at the story of two people who were surprised with the most amazing news of all time. That rings a bell. Hey, I'm Carter. And I'm Zeke. This month, we're talking about why Jesus is so important in God's story and in our stories. Now that is something to sing about. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hey Zeke, do you know what's in just about every Christmas song? Uh, snow, stars, 10 Lords a-leaping? Bells! Ah, yes! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Silver bells, silver bells, it's Christmas time in the city. I heard the bells. Oh. Carol of the bells. Mm -mm 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 now, we can do better than that. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bell rock. Oh, okay, bells, we can do better than that. Oh, really? Actually, we probably can't. Mm. But I do know some people who can. <laughs> a jingle bell expert? A handbell expert. Oh. Two, actually. And they're here right now. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's meet them. Hey! Yeah. How are you doing? Great. Right. It is Good. so nice to see you. Do you want to introduce yourselves to everybody? Sure. My name is Roxanne Golden, and I'm the founder and director of Golden Bells of Atlanta. And I'm Frank Butler. I'm one of the ringers in Golden Bells of Atlanta. Nice. So, well, we'd love to hear a little bit more about yourselves and your experience playing handbells. Oh, yeah. Sure. I fell in love with handbells in college and decided to start studying to learn all about them because I truly believe this is the way it will sound in heaven. And I've been playing handbells since I was in high school. My dad was actually the director and pulled us in and pulled the choir together and been playing ever since. Wow, awesome. So what makes handbells such a unique instrument and how do they work? Well, they are cast in bronze and then they have the handles on them with the letter. This is a G and this is an A. Yeah, and each of the handbells you can see has a handle. Of course, it has the bell and it has the clapper. And when this clapper hits the bell, it creates a sound. And you can adjust this clapper both in two ways. You can adjust the tone of the sound, and you can also adjust the strike point of how well it hits. As you can tell, it's an amazing it yeah. a sound. Now, can you play something for us? Yeah. Sure. Sure. What about playing the song we talked about a couple of days ago? OK, let's do it. Could you teach us to play something? Yeah, of course, of course. So let me just show you that when you pick up the bell, okay. wrap your hand all the way around the bell, and then just let the clapper fall, circle around, and then damp the bell on your shoulder for the sound to stop. Okay. So we'll let you do the G and A, and you will play the B and the D. But Frank, so first, you play it. Let me demonstrate. Let's do jingle bells. Does that sound oh, good to you? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So we'll start with the B. Sounds great. And then dampen. Okay. All right. So you got the B and the D. Right. You got the G and the A. Mm -hmm. You ready, Zeke? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Very good. Amazing. That is great. Very good good job. job. Thank you. All right. <laughs> 
This was really fun. Yeah, thank you guys so much for coming down and showing us all this. Yeah. Our pleasure. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> that was amazing. Can you believe that? <sighs> Did you know that they play even more complex tunes with more octaves? So with even more bells? Yes, more bells with a full choir. Oh man, that was an excellent surprise. But speaking of surprises, it's time for the story before the story. Today, we're in two books, Luke and Matthew. Both books share stories from the life of Jesus, including from when he was born. But God's plan to send Jesus started long before. The whole world was created through Jesus, but when people turned away from God, the world was broken. God chose one man, Abraham, and promised to bless the whole world through his family. God promised to one day send a rescuer. Over hundreds of years, God's people prayed for rescue. Until many began to lose hope. Which is where our story starts. Hey everyone, I'm Brian. Merry Christmas! Ha! As a very special gift, I've got two, count them, two stories for you today. Mm -hmm. God's people had returned from exile to their homeland many years before but they weren't free. The Israelites lived under the harsh rule of the Roman Empire and had to pay heavy taxes. Out of my way, scum! God's promise to send a rescuer seemed like a distant dream, but some people still trusted God with their whole hearts, including an ordinary girl named Mary. Mary was engaged to marry a man named Joseph, but for the time being, she still lived at home, going about her everyday chores, until one day, a shining angel Gabriel appeared before her. Greetings, Mary. What? Who? The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Now, how would you feel if you were, say, unloading the dishwasher and suddenly a towering, shining being showed up right in front of you? As you can imagine, Mary was shocked and confused. I don't understand. Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you you will become pregnant and give birth to a son. A son? Me? You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high God. The Lord God will make him a king. He will rule forever over his people. But how can this happen? The Holy Spirit will make it happen. You know your relative, Elizabeth? She will have a child even though she is old. She has been pregnant for six months now. That's because what God says will always come true. Mary could have refused to believe. She could have protested or, or argued that it couldn't be true or it wasn't fair, but she didn't. I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Wow. Mary had made a habit of trusting God every day. And so when an angel appeared with incredible news, she chose to keep trusting God. She chose peace, knowing God's plans for her were good. But Gabriel's news affected somebody else too, in a big way. Joseph, the man Mary was engaged to marry, worked as a carpenter. Measure twice, cut once. But when it became clear that Mary would have a baby, Joseph didn't know what to believe. This just doesn't make sense. Joseph loved Mary very much, but the law said he shouldn't marry her if she was going to have a baby, so uh, he didn't know what to do. As Joseph slept that night restless, an angel appeared in his dream. It may have been Gabriel, though we don't know for sure. Joseph! I... am I awake? Don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She is going to have a son. You must give him the name Jesus. That's because he will save his people from their sins. When Matthew was writing down this story, he paused to remind us of something important. Many years before the prophet Isaiah had said this exact thing would happen, that a young woman would have a son whose name would mean God with us. Well, Joseph may have remembered this too once he heard from the angel. As soon as Joseph woke up, he went and found Mary and they made plans to get married very soon. Mary's and Joseph's lives were about to change in a way they could never have imagined. Yet they both had peace knowing that they had been chosen to care for God's very own son. The end. You know, I've heard Mary's story a bunch of times, but I kind of forget about Joseph. Yeah, God chose him for an important job too. So what's our part in the story? 
Well, Christmas is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. Mary and Joseph were the very first ones to do this. They got the incredible news that within just a few months, they would literally be holding God's own son in their arms. I don't know how I would have wrapped my brain around that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> but the most amazing thing is that God is with us too. One of the names for Jesus is Emmanuel, which means God with us. When we choose to follow Jesus and discover more about him, we can be friends with God. Friends with the one who made the entire universe. That's right. And knowing that God is always with us can give us true peace, no matter what's going on. Like maybe you have to visit a new school. Or you can't visit your grandma this Christmas. Or you're getting a new sibling. Exactly. Knowing Jesus, you can always have peace, and that's a pretty big reason to celebrate. I'm in. Party horns, anyone? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, where's mine? <laughs> See you next time. So, here's the thing. Celebrate because God is with you. So bust a few moves, make a little music. <laughs> or just add some bells to your playlist. <laughs> Thanks for joining us in the story lab. See, See you, you next, next time. time. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride. So, uh, 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 which one's mine? Uh, 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 u